Inside this short presentation, you'll discover why the way you learn to brace your kayak may not be working so well for you. And I'll show you exactly what to do instead. If you don't yet feel secure in the waves and practicing bracing isn't helping, it's not because of a lack of skill and it's not because you're getting too old to learn this. Keep watching and I'll reveal to you the fastest way possible to the peace of mind on the water that will open up life-changing paddling opportunities. I'm Paolo. I discovered what you're about to learn 18 years ago. It's a discovery that took me from scared to death in the waves to feeling completely at home on the water. And my goal is to make these techniques available to everyone who can benefit from them. Since this is a short video, I'll get right to it. You must move your hips to do a good strong brace. You wouldn't play tennis without moving your hips, would you? The hips and the whole body movement is what creates the power. Imagine a boxer who uses only arms and upper body strength. Even kayak racers know that the power is generated from the hips. By using your hips, you not only generate a lot of power and take the pressure off your arms and shoulders, the movement of the hips also naturally moves your paddle in a sculling motion to give maximum support. And more importantly, it keeps the paddle near the surface so that it keeps giving support. I'll give you an exercise for developing the muscle memory for this in a bit. Now, while you can start practicing this on the water right away and instantly feel more in control in the waves, you must be warned about the number one mistake that will make this almost impossible to do. It's a mistake that takes the power away from your forward stroke and makes turning and bracing much harder. It's what makes it impossible for you to move with your kayak in a way that makes you agile. If you don't have this one thing, you're left using force to overcome the waves. Here it is. You must avoid needing to move your foot pegs back until your knees are stuck on the sides of your kayak. That locks your hips in place. I'll show you how to make the kayak fit you properly so that you can move with it. Here's why this is so critical. First, having the right fit is what unlocks your hips to generate real power for the forward stroke, for turning, for bracing and rolling. It's what takes the pressure off your arms and shoulders. Second, it's what makes the kayak an extension to your body. It's not you in a boat anymore. And that opens up the agility you need to transition smoothly without effort, whether from forward stroke to turning or to bracing or even rolling. Lastly, it ties it all together. Once you learn to move with your kayak, you don't have to learn rolling as something different. The same whole body movement that you use for bracing is used for rolling. And that same hip movement helps you turn and edge. It all starts to come automatically. Now here's the good news. After spending a bit of time to outfit your kayak so that you can move with it, here's what you can experience. A brace that comes quickly and automatically as you paddle, even when broadside to the waves, without any need to stop and push down on the paddle. You can have the peace of mind of knowing that if the wind happens to come up and it gets rough, you will still feel relaxed and in control. Now you have more opportunities to go in these remote places and really enjoy yourself there. Here's an exercise to practice for developing the muscle memory for a very effective low brace. And as you will see, it won't even feel hard. You can do this one from the comfort of your bed. Just sit with your legs as they would be in your kayak. Hold your paddle in the low brace position with the power face up. Start with pulling the same side hip back. So if you want to brace on the right side, pull your right hip back. Just as you do when you're setting up to hit the ball when you play tennis. And then, using the hips, sweep the paddle forward. If you're doing it right, you'll see your hips move. And as they do, your whole body will rotate. No need to move your arms in a potentially injury-prone position. Now the power of your brace is coming from your hips. When you're confident that you have the right motion, you can go practice it on the water and focus on getting the right blade angle that gives support without moving water. Before you do, click on the link in the description below and sign up to receive my free video that will help you get the right fit with your kayak. Like I said before, if you don't take the time to get this right, nothing else will work. The next video will show you what to do with your upper body to make that brace much more powerful without needing to use any strength or risk a shoulder injury. 
If you want to be sure not to miss the next video, subscribe to my channel here. Look, you have two choices. You can try and be quick enough with your brace without using your hips and not feel very secure when paddling in the waves. And maybe your paddle ends up going deep because you're pushing down on it and it feels hard. If you're getting older, you may wonder how long you can keep using force like that. Or you can unlock that hip power that makes you move with your kayak and feel like you're working with the water. To make bracing automatic, even part of how you paddle and be known as someone no one needs to worry about because you can handle yourself. Sign up with the link in the description below to transform your kayak so that you can move with it without effort. If you're already a member of the Rapid Brace formula, you'll find this video added to the bonus section of the course. If you're not yet a member and you'd like to be one, click on the link below this video. Thanks for watching.